What's up everyone, it's Trevor, finally back with another video. I know it's been way too long, but let me tell you guys how the past two weeks have been. They've been awful. We had an anatomy test last Monday, and then we had a biochem test two days later, and it was brutal. So let me just break down how the past two weeks have been and why I wasn't able to get out a video, got a video and you guys will understand. Okay, this anatomy test, let me tell you guys, it was brutal. It was so terrible. So besides the DAT, I'm not even lying. I've never had a test where I've needed to understand and memorize so much information for. So I started studying a whole entire week before this test. And this was my schedule. I'll wake up early in the morning, go to class, come home, relax for probably about an hour. And then, no lie, study from whenever I got home, relaxed, all the way up until one o'clock in the morning. I averaged about five hours of sleep every single night, even on the weekends. It was insane. But the good news is it actually went really well. And, and then so we took that test on Monday. And then I had two days. I had Tuesday and Wednesday to study for the biochem test on Thursday. So it was just cram, cram, cram and then went and took the test. And that one actually went really well too. So I was very, very happy that all of my hard work paid off. But this week is a much needed relaxing. Um, we don't have very much uh, assignments due. We don't have any tests this week. So I am living it up, watching a ton of YouTube, watching Netflix, just getting my mind off of school for a little bit. So I'm really excited I can jump back into making a video for you guys. But before we get into this week, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the last video that came out two, yeah, two weeks ago now. We got over 2,000 views already. Never in a million years did I think that a video that I made would ever do that well that fast. So thanks to everyone who supported it through the thumbs up on it. I greatly appreciate it. And it seems like you guys kind of like that sit down talk we had on the couch. So at the end of this video, we are going to be doing another one. Well guys, it is already Thursday night and this week has flown by. I honestly don't know where the time has gone. I tried to film a bunch of different things but nothing was coming together and I don't want to waste your time, put out a bad video. Sorry, I'm just going to skip right to the sit down and talk. I apologize for not being able to get any good footage but I really think I underestimated how hard it would be to get back into the swing of studying after the two week grind I put in for the last two tests and since I didn't have very many big assignments due I kind of just wasted a lot of time which is unfortunate because I have two tests coming up next week that I'm struggling to get prepared for and my girlfriend is actually flying in tomorrow morning so it's going to be a little bit rough studying, don't want to waste her whole entire trip out here. So wish me luck going forward in the next week and this weekend. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the mistakes I made in undergrad. Hopefully I can um, help you guys out and you can avoid some of the things that I did. And if you guys are already in dental school, maybe comment down below one or two mistakes that you made that might be able to help anyone that's in undergrad or in high school right now. So no doubt, hands down, the biggest mistake that I made in undergrad was pretty much my entire freshman year. My GPA was so bad, I'm talking under 3.0, that I spent every year after that trying to make up for it. And I had to grind, 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 and basically get A's in so many classes to bring my GPA up to where I wanted it, to where um, I would be a competitive applicant. So here are a few things that I think you guys can implement to help you not make the same mistake that I did that whole entire first year. So the first one is I went into college thinking that it was going to be pretty much the same as high school. I expected it to be a little bit harder, but to be honest, I didn't actually have to try that much in high school. So I thought I wasn't going to have to try that much in college either, and boy was I wrong. If you guys have ever watched, uh, actually one of my first videos that I ever put out, I talked about my very first test I ever took in college. It was in a calc class. I went in there, thought I, I had done the homework, and kind of looked over the notes, thought I was going to do okay on the test, came out with a 40. Immediately went to my room, cried. Uh, didn't let my roommate see, but uh, it was bad. It was a shock to the system, and I really didn't know if I was going to be able to do college, and I kind of questioned my whole entire future. So 
number one thing, realize that college is a big step up from high school. You have to change your study habits. You got to change kind of your whole entire attitude towards school. So going along with that, school was not my number one priority my freshman year. I was into trying to get to know people. Um, I, it took me a while to get uh, a good group of friends since I went from Florida all the way out to Utah and I know I knew no one. But once I found that group of friends, I felt like I was really focused on just having a good time with them. Um, a lot of us went to the gym, so I prioritized going to the gym over studying for classes. And that really, really showed in my grades. And also I was playing lacrosse for BYU at the same time. So I was waking up um, at 4.30 in the morning to try to get to practice at 5 and it was just miserable, miserable in school. Suffered because I was putting all these other things in front of it and even though I moved across the country to go to school, it was not my top priority and that is a huge, huge mistake. The third thing that really hurt me my freshman year was I didn't know that all of these resources were even available, but I didn't take advantage of all the um, office hours that the professors had or the office hours that the TAs had. If I could have used their time and gone in and talked with them about concepts I didn't understand, I would have been so far ahead of the game and been able to do so much better on tests. The last thing that I really regret about my freshman year is even before I kind of got into the swing of things, I took a class that was really important. So I took um, Chem 1, which I guess most people uh, do take your freshman year, but I knew that I, I didn't know how to do college, I wasn't doing well, and I took that class anyways. And I ended up getting a C minus in there. And since it is such a important class for your application, I mean, all the, all the schools are gonna look at how you do in your big science classes. And I had to retake it uh, because I did so poorly my freshman year. So if you guys are ever worried about, uh, you don't know if you're gonna do well in college courses, I recommend highly that you do not take any of the major science classes that are going to um, be looked at and scrutinized heavily on your application. And that was such a big deal because in every single one of my interviews, I ha actually had to explain, they would either ask me about that class specifically, like what happened, why did I get a bad grade and why did I have to retake it? So that did, even though I had done well in all the other upper level science classes, they still asked me what happened um, my freshman year. And so I spent a lot of time in my interview trying to um, basically come up with an excuse to why I did so poorly. So cannot recommend it enough. Do not take important science classes before you are ready for them. Okay, some other things that I did not do in undergrad right away that I wish I would have was I really tried to do everything on my own for some classes. And I, looking back, the classes that I was able to dominate and do really well in and not stress myself out too much were the classes that I had uh, kind of study buddies, you know? They didn't have to be my best friends. Um, sometimes they were, which worked out because we studied and hung out together all the time. But do not try to do these hard classes or any class alone. It's always way, way easier, way more effective, um, time efficient if you can find someone in that class who wants to study with you. You guys can compare your notes. Basically, when you study with someone else, you are doubling your knowledge because they're gonna pick up different things in lecture than you pick up. They're gonna write down different things. Different points are gonna stick out to them. They're going to understand uh, different concepts that the teacher uh, discussed in class. They're gonna be on the test. so. They can teach you what they understand and you can teach them what you understand. It's such an effective way to study, I cannot recommend that more. And the last thing that I really wish I would have just started out undergrad doing all the time was not missing the small points that the course gives you for attendance or uh, homework or uh, quizzes that you have to do online um, or like kind of the small assignments that you have to turn in. Even though you feel like you can miss one or two of those things and it won't affect your grade because individually each one of those things does not affect your percentage very much in the class. But when you add those all up at the end, if you got a hundred on all of those things and they're never that hard, you know, all you have to do is do reading or just show up to class. If you get all of those points, it takes a lot of weight off of the exams because you have um, all those points to kind of counterbalance um, the heavy weights that get put on the exam. So by the end of my undergrad, my whole philosophy going into a new semester was to just grind as hard as I could during the semester so that when it comes time to taking your finals, 
you don't really have to do that well on them because you've done well on everything else. And all those other things that aren't as difficult as a final make up the bigger part of your grade. So your final grade won't drop you that much even if you don't do very well on it. And there are actually a couple classes where I had done so well in the semester, I didn't even have to show up and take the final. Obviously, ask your teacher because sometimes if you don't show up and take, take the final, you'll get a zero and you'll fail the course. But I checked with them and they said, if you have a good enough grade and you don't have to take it, then you don't have to show up. So that was probably one of the most satisfying experiences in my whole entire undergrad, not even showing up for a final. So I know it's hard, but if you can do that, you will have so much less stress around final time. And that is a huge make it or break it time in undergrad. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you can learn from my mistakes and go into college even more prepared. Or if you're in college right now, uh, and you're making the same mistakes, try to learn from me and get better. I promise you, um, come application time, you will think yourself more than anything. Honestly, some of the hardest times uh, that I've had through school up till even now were just getting through those chem classes, those upper um, organic chemistry classes, some of the physics classes. It's just, it's tough. And even though it seems like it'll never end. You'll get through undergrad and it'll feel like it was a blink of an eye. So keep grinding and I promise you there is light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, hopefully next week, I always say next week I'm going to get better footage, but hopefully I can pretty soon and get a normal video, guy, video out to you guys. And I hope you guys have a good week coming up. See you in the next one.